Welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful, stylish booboo with embroidery, as you can see right here. So this is actually stylish and it's trending and it's beautiful as well. You can see the embroidery right there on the booboo, kaftan dress. So I'll be showing you how to sew these in this class, okay? So as you can see right there, it's really gorgeous and you can use it for any occasion. You can use it for any outfit at all, okay? So you can see the embroidery is really very stylish. You can actually make different beautiful embroideries, uh, stylish or depending on your design, okay? So if this is what you want to learn in this class, please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So in this class, I'll be showing you how to sew this beautiful booboo kaftan you are seeing right there on the thumbnail with an embroidered um, um, pattern, okay? So as you can see right here, this is the fabric we are using for this, um, um, uh, for this uh, booboo kaftan. And the fabric is four yards. So to make your booboo kaftan, you need four yards of Ankara. Ankara comes in 45 um, inches by length or 47 inches by length and the four yards of it that is what we are going to use to make this dress. So what I have here is already embroidered. So we have um, the embroidery experts okay who can give you a uh, different kinds of embroidery design to make your booboo. So this is what the embroidery looks at as at, at the back. So when you get to uh, the embroidery shop or to the ma local market, you can ask for embroidery uh, technicians, okay? Um, so they will be able to give you exactly the design or style of embroidery of your choice. So this is actually the neckline for this so i'll be showing you how to place this embroidery perfectly on this ankara fabric and sew your booboo -boo kaftan very perfectly as well so to begin this tutorial i will be the four yards i have here i'm going to place it on fold first so I'm placing it on fold, okay? So this is it on fold, and this is the folded edge of the four yards. So I'm placing the um, Ankara 45 inch length. This is the length of the Ankara. Like I said, it comes in 40, 5, 47 inches. So I place it on fold as you can see. So this is my folded part of it right now. So what I have here is two yards, two yards, okay? Two yards here, two yards here. That is the four yards. So here, I'll just measure the length of this. Okay, so you can see it's even 45. So at uh, this 45, that is where we are going to have the horizontal part of this dress so once i've done this next thing i'll do is to bring the that part i'll fold it again okay after folding the first one i'm going to fold it again to get the center front line so what i have here is my center front line and i'm going to make a mark to the center front this is my center front so i just made this mark right here to determine my center front and I also make a mark this way to determine the folded edge so once that is done I'm going to open up this okay so I'm opening it up now following the mark I just made so you can see the mark I just made for my center front and the edge of it. So I'll be choosing one part. I believe you are seeing this chalk line. I'm actually working with the same chalk I have. So this center line I have right here, that is my center front and my shoulder line. 
so for the back i'll just go in by one inch as usual you know how we usually draft our one inch so i'll just go in by one inch so this one inch i'll come in now with my embroidered fabric i'll also the edge of it i'll put it together as you can see can you see that i put it together and this is my center back i'll place that center back right here can you see that so i'll begin to secure them with my pin right away so you need your pins handy so i just begin to secure with my pins I just hold the, everything down with my pins. So once I'm done securing it, I'm sure I have it stable right now. So I'll just go over to my machine. I'm going to sew on these lines, okay? So I'll just sew on the lines, on the tip of this line, just at the edge of it. Once I sew at the edge of it with a matching thread, I'll come over here and also sew at the edge. So let me quickly do the see the embroidered lines so I'm just sewing in between them so as you are doing that you have to make sure you have your uh, matching uh, thread so your your thread has to be a matching thread so I'm just trying to turn it the other um, so I'll be able to stitch the other part now okay so you have to make sure you pin and sew because you are sewing you follow the patterns of your embroidery okay so I, I i actually went out of the line a little bit right here so i'll just redirect my line so you have to take it easy Once I get right here, So I've completed the process right now. So I'm done with the neckline right now. So I'm going to sew down the sides. Okay. So I also follow the same process for my side. I'll backstitch. So when you are doing this, please make sure you use a matching thread. So using a matching thread, nobody sees uh, the lines, your thread lines. Okay, so you can see this place is um, flat. No part is folding. So ensure yours is flat as well. So I'm following the lines as you can see so you can take off your pins where you have stitched
Okay, so as I'm sewing, I'm spreading it out, making sure it's spread, it's fully spread out. Then I'll go over to the down piece and complete the process. So this is where I started and I'll backstitch at that point once again. So we are done with the stitching right here. Alright, so I'm done stitching it as you can see. So it's fixed on the dress. Next thing we are going to do is to measure from that line, we are going to take a measurement of about one inch all around to cut. So I'm going to mark the one one inch all around. Or let us do zero points, three quarter. So I just do three quarter, three quarter, three quarter following the shape okay so the shape is three quarter all around so i'm going to cut it off on that line right now so I've cut it out so now I'm going to make notches on this end because we are going to fold this in words so I just make notches okay at each end so once I'm done next I'll do is to fold them in can you see so to have a perfect or a neat finishing at the neckline you just go ahead and fold so you can decide to run uh, have your weaving okay that is your search that part before you fold it so I'll quickly do that now fold it in use my hemming gum to hold it down so I'll do that now now I've already um, pushed in the 0 0.75 or 1 inch okay so this is what I have at the back okay so you can see it at the back I used my hemming gum lifted it up and ironed it so it stays and sticks perfectly so next I'm going to do is to put the dress together and the boo boo together I'm going to close it up that I'll be leaving let me just put it together here so this is the neckline so at the shoulder seam line which is the one inch you can see me folding it so I'll go back to the machine now and I'm going to leave about 11 inches for the arm hole to pass so that is where my arm is going to pass so from that shoulder I'll measure 11 inches so I'll start my stitching right here at 1 inch also at 1 inch down I'll repeat the same on the other side alright so now I've closed up the sides and I've turned it to the front I've also uh, open up the sleeve so this is where the arm is going to pass at 11 inches from the shoulder you can also make it 12 depending on your size so this is it I went ahead to use my hemming gum as well to hold it on as you can see and the hem side I have to cut to my size so you, you can the four inches can be a little bit longer so you can just take your length and cut and 
food so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial once again so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you for coming see you in the next class bye